Hi, my name is Lena, and today I'm here to tell you about the only way to eat an elephant. Uh, you can probably remember it's bit by bit. And I have one disclaimer to make now. I do remember it's a React conference. Uh, but I will be telling my brief story of SSR code splitting and why you need to use them both using vanilla JS mostly. Uh, so it all started at the time when there was no React. Someone does remember these times and someone can't even believe that uh, there was such time when there was no React. But that time, all HTML pages were served as strings. You wouldn't believe that. Uh, but the whole content was a string served from servers. And it looked something like this. One wrote for a whole HTML content. And there uh, were many of them, as much as many roads you have. And actually, Everybody was happy at that time. Um, it was pretty straightforward, actually, until there they were not. Uh, and you can probably guess the reason. It was because of JavaScript. Uh, so it became too tedious to handle all the JavaScript, all DOM, DOM manipulation with jQuery, um, you know, with rendering tools like EGS, handlebars, and many, many more in every server language. And also this server round trips uh, made people suffer. And I can hardly tell you who suffered more users or developers with all their JavaScript, jQuery, and uh, handlebars. So JavaScript uh, heroes came, and they decided to have SPAs, single page applications. And they were imagining rendering content, all the content on the client side. And they decided that browser can handle navigation without going back to server. And they think uh, they thought it was cool. And also they decided they can do client side routing, not because it is easy, but because it is hard, but they can. Uh, and the uh, HTML because uh, became very small and shallow, and nothing actually uh, was rendered on server anymore. Everything was rendered uh, in uh, uh, client side with one of JavaScript frameworks, and there um, became more JavaScript. Uh, more tools to build it in one bundle, and more JavaScript problems to solve, more JavaScript conference to talk about these problems, and uh, new monsters were born. Actually, more JavaScript uh, um, resulted in more, in bigger bundle sizes, which resulted in worse performance. Uh, first rendering uh, and everything else, and actually users became uh, started to suffer, and also business started to suffer because SEO was a problem. Um, crawlers uh, can't read JavaScript; they need strings. So, JavaScript. Uh, heroes came back again, and they decided to have SSR back. But this time with their, the same JavaScript they wrote, because it was so beautiful to throw it away. And they decided that the solution is to render this JavaScript they have to a string on server, and to have JavaScript function returning a string. So that was a good solution uh, for SSR, and it solved uh, SEO problem, but it didn't solve bundle size problem, right? So they were using both 
the same JavaScript on client side and server side. So JavaScript, uh, JavaScript heroes decided so that they need to come up with an idea of code splitting. And they did. They did this dynamic imports. Uh, here you can see that there is one problem with this code. code. Not, uh, it, not because it's not in React, uh, but because it's asynchronous. Uh, and it does solve the problem of a big uh, JavaScript bundle. You can see that now the content not in the one in one bundle, uh, but loads dynamically. Uh, but dynamic imports is for ser uh, client side, and they can't be rendered on server side because ser server side needs to do it synchronously. So. Uh, when the content, when your content depends on the road, meaning you need this content right away for client uh, to see it, uh, you can have code splitting both on server and client side. The only um, a problem you need to solve is to decide on the environment you're in and to load it synchronously when you are not in client-side environment and load it asynchronously when you are. Uh, so this is vanilla JS solution for this problem. And as much as I like vanilla JS, we all know it is it it doesn't scale. It solves the problem, but it doesn't scale. But luckily, we have uh, React and library solution for it. And we have loadable components. And it is that easy with loadable components. As I wrote it in vanilla JS, all you need to do is have to feed this library information about all the chunks you have uh, to ask it to render your content as a string on server side, and then uh, loadable will decide as if by magic in what environment you are and it will render your content server side and client side and with code splitting so you will not serve big bundles to your clients so happily ever after SSR codes was married to SSR and code splitting we're married to React and loadable components, and our users are happy, and our JS heroes ready for new monsters to conquer. Thank you.